guys, my new toy has arrived, the uh, Morgan Carb Tune Pro, <coughs> uh, there we go, so that is for setting up the vacuums on your carbs, there's the hose, destruction manual, all the adapters if you have screwing um, doodars on your inlets I don't on mine so but also in here is a clear piece of tube I can't remember what sizes they are but some of you will have noticed that you've got uh, screw-ins and then screws in them but what you get is obviously these go onto your inlets individually and then they go into that but you can't do it straight off you get this little piece of clear tube uh, that is uh, your restrictor why they don't do this in the factory I don't know but what you need to do is cut these off equally so let me just have a look start on the 10 so it's 80 give or take yeah so 10 20 30 40 that should be about half I know I'm it says 50 because I'm starting at the 10 just in case the uh, tape measure isn't oh shit what's going on here that's this is quite hard plastic so you just have to cut these into four and then I'll show you what you do next so it's just four equal parts it's actually a very small hole I see why it's quite hard to cut now it is a tiny hole it's like the size of a, a sewing pin or a whatever right so like I say they're the restrictors they just stop fluctuations in your let me just can you see the metal bars they stop them bouncing around like mad so what you do you just cut them into four put them to one side and you take your hose one of your hoses you want to take about 10 centimeters give or take it doesn't have to be perfect but I would advise trying to keep it as close as possible on each one. If you do 10 on one, do 10 on the next. Don't uh, do like 10, 15, 12, you know, because it will actually strangely affect things. And once you cut that, you take it, one of your restrictors, push it, come on, push it in. And take your next one, push it in. Probably should have smeared these with something. Jesus, they're quite tight to squeeze together. And then that's together. So what you want is this end, the end closest to your restrictor, goes onto your engine. And then that is I'll I'll do a bit more of that later. And then, so restrictor end into the engine, non-restricted end into your carb tube. Just got to do the other four now. Uh, no, other three, dickhead. Uh. So what I'm thinking is what I should have done was uh, sit this rubber in some warm water for five or ten minutes. Because it would make it expand, I think. Make it slightly easier to put on. The warm soapy water would have been even better. Eventually. Right, so that's not it because obviously I'm done. But yeah. So all it is them onto there. What I will do is get some uh, heat shrink numbers that you get for uh, HT leads. So each one will say one, two, three, and four on on each side and then I always know which ones that they're always in the right place 
because if you get it mixed up you get cocked up so that's that tomorrow i shall be hopefully uh, readjusting my carbs and balancing them so i'll show you how to do that tomorrow all right so that's ready for tomorrow now i just realized uh, you might wonder how the hell have i done these in the past without one of these well this is a posh way of doing it and it's an expensive way of doing it but it is the correct way uh, the way i was taught by my dad uh, is a very old school we don't have that sort of thing uh, on the fly uh, you can do it off what's oh, where are my carbs where are my other carbs so the way i used to do it on the bench 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 that uh, 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 setting them up on the bench was i'd open up my butterflies and i'd stick a little need uh, a nail in one and then uh, and then set it to that and i'd go on to the next one with the similar well same sort of nail and if the gap was about the same then it was close uh, that's bench setting up so you get close with that and my old way of doing it simply that one piece of hose bit of, i think this is actually for a fish tank uh, you just hear it you just stick one end into your ear and do it that way and i've i've done it that way for years and it's close and if you've got really good ears like me old man uh you know for a deaf bastard <laughs> no he you just hear this pitch difference and you can do it that way it isn't easy it took me years to kind of get it right but then i've been to so many loud gigs and had so many loud bikes my hearing's on its way out so yeah uh tomorrow that'll be my job and i'll uh, put that up tomorrow night probably